The eVital system allows users to electronically submit births and deaths with the City of New York Bureau of Vital Statistics. eVital is a new and improved web-based application that replaced Evers. To create a new birth case, click the main menu icon. Then select Life Events, select Birth, then select Start New Case. The Foundling Baby field should remain as No. Click the calendar icon to select the date of child's birth. Click in the field Mark Sex to select the child's sex from the drop-down list. Type the child's last name and the mother's maiden name in the corresponding fields. Enter and confirm the child's medical record number. Enter and confirm the mother's medical record number. When you have completed all the fields, click Search. If no cases match the criteria you have entered, click the Create New Case button. eVital will take you directly to the Child tab within the Parent Information section. The fields will pre-populate with the information you entered on the first page. Complete the remainder of the fields. Click Save. There are two types of errors in eVital. Hard edits, which appear in red, and soft edits, which appear in orange. Hard edits are errors that must be addressed and corrected, or the birth certifier will not be able to sign the certificate. Soft edits are errors that must be addressed or must be overridden in order for the birth certifier to sign the certificate. Here's an example of a soft edit. If you get an error message, the system is prompting you to verify whether or not the information is correct. If the information is correct, then you must override the error message. First, check the override box and click Save Overrides. Then click Save. Hard edits are indicated in red and will remain red until the missing or correct data has been entered. Hard edits, unlike soft edits, cannot be overridden. Therefore, correct data must be entered in the field in order to continue with and complete the certificate. Enter the missing information. Then click Save. If all fields contain valid information, a green dot will appear next to the Child tab indicating that there are no errors that need to be corrected. To indicate a plural birth, enter the appropriate selection in the number delivered in this pregnancy drop-down list, then complete the additional fields that appear. Click Save. There will now be a Link Plural Delivery tab under the Other Links section of the menu. This tab is only displayed when plural birth information has been entered. Click Link Plural Delivery. The Plural Delivery page will open and display any cases linked to the current case. To link a case, click Link New Case. Enter the second child's information. Click Search. If there are no cases that match, click Create New Case. The new case will now appear as a currently linked case. Click the Compare button to view the case information side by side. 
Any information already entered in the current case that is applicable to the linked case will be populated automatically. Any information entered after the cases are linked will not be carried over. To save time, enter as much information as possible in the current case before linking other cases. This will ensure that the maximum amount of information will populate linked cases and eliminate the need to enter it again. Once the cases have been linked, return to the Child tab. Click Save. If all fields contain valid information, a green dot will appear next to the Child tab. You can now continue by clicking on Mother Parent Information. The Mother Parent Information web form will open. Enter the mother's legal first, middle, and last names into the corresponding fields. Complete the remainder of the fields. Click Save. If there are no errors, a green dot will appear. You can continue by clicking on Mother Parent Address. The Mother Parent Address web form will open. Select a birth country from the drop-down list. Type in the mother's birth city and birth state. In the Residence Address portion of the web form, type the address information into the corresponding fields and select the country from the drop-down list. Click Verify Address. A list of matching addresses will be displayed. Click the radio button next to the correct address, then click Select. The verification indicator will turn green, indicating the address has been verified. Complete the mailing address and all other appropriate fields. Click Save. If all fields contain valid information, a green dot appears. Click Mother Parent Attributes. Complete the appropriate fields, including education level and ancestry information. Click Save. If all fields contain valid information, a green dot appears. Click Mother Parent Health. The Mother Parent Health web form will open. Complete the appropriate fields including height, weight, and health information. Click Save. If all fields contain valid information, a green dot will appear. Click Paternity to open the Paternity web form. Click on the drop-down asking, are you entering the father-parent's information? There are three available options. Yes, Married. Yes, Acknowledgement of Paternity. And No. If the father's information is not being entered, select No. Then click Save. A green dot will appear on the Paternity tab indicating the section is complete. If the parents are married, select the Yes Married option. Then click Save. Three additional tabs will appear under Parent Information. Click Father Parent Information. Enter the father's name and date of birth information. Click Save. If there are no errors, a green dot will appear. Click on Father Parent Birthplace. Enter the information and click Save. A green dot will appear if there are no errors. Click on Father Parent Attributes. Enter the father's education and ancestry information.
Click Save. A green dot indicates there are no errors to be corrected. Returning to the Paternity tab, the last option is Yes, Acknowledgement of Paternity. If you select AOP, you will be asked how the form will be submitted. Scanning both sides of the AOP is the preferred method of submission. Click Save. An Acknowledgement of Paternity section will now appear in the Birth Registration menu. The green dots indicate that these tabs have been automatically populated based on information that was previously entered about the father as well as the child and mother. Click on AOP Print. Click on Print AOP Form. When the AOP form loads, click the Print icon. Then click Print. Close the AOP form window. Click on Documentary Evidence under Other Links. Then click Add Documentary Evidence. The document window will open and the document type will default to Acknowledgement of Paternity Form. Please note that when scanning or uploading multi-page images like the AOP, the .tif format must be used. Click on Scan New Image to scan the completed and signed AOP form. Select the scanner. The AOP form will be scanned and appear in the document window. If necessary, use the rotate buttons to ensure the form is in the proper orientation. Click Save. A green dot with a check mark will appear next to the Documentary Evidence tab, indicating the AOP form has been attached to the case. You can view, edit, or delete the form using these buttons. Next, return to the Paternity tab. Click Save. A green dot will now appear on the Paternity tab, indicating the AOP process is complete. Click Admission and Discharge. The Admission and Discharge web form will open. Enter the Admission and Discharge information and complete all the appropriate fields. Click Save. If all fields contain valid information, a green dot appears. Click Place of Birth. The Place of Birth web form will open. Click inside the field marked Type of Place and select where the delivery occurred. Complete the appropriate fields. Click Save. A green dot will indicate there are no errors. Click Prenatal and the web form will open. Enter the appropriate responses about prenatal care, previous births, and previous pregnancy outcomes. Click Save. The green dot indicates there are no errors. Click Pregnancy Factors. The Pregnancy Factors web form opens. Check all the boxes that apply to the pregnancy. Click Save and check for the green dot. If there are no errors, you may continue to the Labor section. Click Labor. The Labor web form will open. Check the descriptions that apply in both sections. 
Then click Save. The green dot indicates there are no errors. Click Delivery to open the Delivery Web Form. Complete all appropriate fields and check all the descriptions that apply. Click Save and check for the green dot. Click Newborn to open the web form. The child's medical record number field automatically populates. Complete all appropriate fields regarding infant birth weight, gestation in APGAR, and hepatitis B inoculation. Click Save. If there are no errors, a green dot will appear. Click Newborn Factors to open the web form. In the Abnormal Conditions of the Newborn section, check all descriptions that apply. Click inside the field marked Congenital Anomalies to choose the appropriate response. Additional anomalies can be entered by clicking the Add Congenital Anomaly button. To remove entries, click the red square. If you wish to indicate that there are no congenital anomalies, you must select none of the above listed from the drop-down menu. Click Save. A green dot indicates there are no errors that need to be corrected. Click Attendant Certifier to open the web form. To add the attendant at birth, click Look Up Attendance. Enter the attendant's name and click Search. Click Select to choose the attendant. This will populate the Attendant at Birth section. If you are a certifier, your information will automatically populate the Certifier section. To add or choose a different certifier, use the Look Up Certifier button. Click Save. A green dot indicates the attendant certifier information has been accepted. If you are an authorized certifier, and there are no errors that need to be corrected in any of the previous sections, a link to certify the case will appear in the menu. Click Certify to open the web form. To certify the birth, read the statement and place a check mark in the box marked Affirm. This will display the quick response code. Use the Certify app to scan the code within 60 seconds. Once you scan the code, the app will ask you to take one picture of your face. After the picture is taken, a notification will appear on the phone indicating that the certification was successful. Tap OK on the phone screen. On the computer, a green dot with a check mark will appear on the Certify tab indicating the case has been certified. If you need to make any changes, use the Unaffirm button and then recertify the case after the changes have been made. Screening information can be entered under the Other Registries section of the menu. Click Hearing Screening to open the Hearing Screening web form. Then, click on Add Hearing Screening and enter the information. Additional screening information can be entered by clicking the Add Hearing Screening button. Screenings can be deleted by clicking on the red square. 
Click Save when you are finished. Click Metabolic Screening to open the Metabolic Screening web form. Then, click on Add Metabolic Screening and enter the information. Additional screening information can be entered by clicking the Add Metabolic Screening button. Screenings can be deleted by clicking on the red square. Click Save when you are finished. Let's review the Other Links section of the menu. The first option under the Other Links menu is Preview Case. Clicking on Preview Case will load the Case Preview window. This displays the child information, the mother information, and the father information. Click on Documentary Evidence. This will display any documents that have been attached to the case. This process was reviewed during the Acknowledgement of Paternity section of this video. Clicking on Case Status History will allow you to view the case history. This includes dates, the status name, as well as user and facility information. Click on Case Messages to see any messages related to the case. Click on Registration Validations to see any validation errors or overrides in the case. Click on any of the green buttons to go to the page where the validation error or override occurred. Clicking on Link Plural Delivery will display any cases linked to the current case. This option will only be available if a plural birth was indicated on the child web form. Click on Preview Work Copy. This displays the information that will appear on the face of the birth certificate. Click on Request to Abandon Void if you need to abandon or void the case. Select the Request Type from the drop-down menu. Then, enter a reason. Click Save to submit the request. Click on Comments. To enter a new comment, select the comment type from the drop-down menu. Then, enter the comment in the comment field and click Save Comment. The saved comment will be displayed at the bottom of the comments window. Click on the Edit or Delete icons to make any necessary changes. A green check mark will appear on the menu indicating there are comments related to the case. This concludes the eVital Birth Certificate Training.